it's time for us to have a conversation about your relationships, our relationships, making sure that things go right every time. I've been joined by Bernard Osaidua, uh, who is a customer uh, care, a, a customer experience a professional, and also HR and performance consultant. And we're going to be discussing this morning managing third parties in your relationship. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning. How are good. you? I'm doing well. How about you? It's good to have you here. Thank you for having me back. Yeah. So, um, third parties. Yes. In relationships. Now, I know earlier on, Jafar and I were having, you know, we're trying to figure out whether is the third party the in laws or the third party uh, the third party? <laughs> Maybe. And before. how do we manage them? Before we, what, what, what's your third party of the third party? <laughs> Thank you very much once again for having me and a very great morning to you, all your listeners. Um, yes, currently so. When we talk about third parties, relationships usually have the first and the second. Now, there are others that are interconnected mm. to that relationship. And when I talk about this, it's not actually limited to the family, okay. capsule, or even social relations, but even professionally. Okay. And all these three angles could be worked on, but mm. basically anything or any kind of relationship that does not hinge from the first and the second becomes third. Mm. So in a marital relationship, you're talking about your in-laws. Okay. So be it mother, father, brother, sister, in-laws, mm. they are all connected and they form a third party. Okay. Not just them, but sometimes even people within our religious circles, mm. you know, they also constitute who becomes a third party. Friends you know, um, colleagues from yeah. work. Yeah. And even on the professional circle, you see the organogram of an organization spells out a relationship that goes in three directions, the top, downwards, and also across. Okay. So I call this the three S's. Mm. They are your superiors, your surrounders, and your subordinates. Okay. All right, these three have relationships that are spark on. Now, the grapevine creates what we call the third parties in those relationships. Mm. And the effective management of it yeah. can act either add value to you or really take from you. Mm. Wow. Okay, so let's look at, in the simplest way, how do we manage these third parties so that we have good relationships? Okay, all right. So when we consider social relations, let's take marriage, all right? Yeah. Many times, a lot of people have had issues with in-laws, and be it mother, father, or the brothers and sisters, mm. who are persistently and consistently, <laughs> if you like, poaching your yeah, nose somewhere, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it's by virtue of the, re the kind of relationship they have with their daughter, okay. you know, or son, okay. or brother or sister. Mm. And by virtue of that, they kind of take a claim yeah. as to what goes on in their yeah. relationships or marriages. Yeah. Now, you cannot take this for granted. Mm. Some people grow up and in their growth processes, they have this bond and attachment to their family. Okay. When they get married, these relationships don't get cut off. No. It comes along with. Mm. As a person who is actually married to such a man or a woman, mm. it's ideal how you are able to manage them. Okay. And this is why it's important. Now, uh, I know that this is not focused on counseling, but just to add a notch to it quickly mm. yeah. before we get into maybe the professional side. One of the things I came to realize is that many times we are actually not careful what we share with these third parties. Mm. Because what we share empowers them to claim as, or a stake, have a stake in, the, in, in the what goes yeah. on. So, for example, I could be in a relationship with my wife. Mm. We married. She's got her family. I've got my family. Yeah. So something happens in the relationship and I tell my family. Let's say I tell my mom or yeah. you know, any of my siblings. Two weeks down the line, my wife and I are okay. Yeah. But remember, whatever you've told your family yeah. doesn't just get wiped off. No. Whatever sentiments and emotions they carry with them might remain. Mm. So whereas I might have actually moved on with my wife from whatever condition or situation that yeah. persisted, yeah. they still hold on mm. against my spouse based on the things I shared with yeah. them. This is why it's important what you are able to expose yeah. so that you can limit how mm. much people can actually get into yeah. the relationships you have. Okay. And this is very important. Either than that, you might never enjoy the peace in your yeah. home. Wow. Okay, so finally wrap up with us on the professional side. Now, with the professional side, I spoke about three levels. Mm. 
So your superiors, yes. your surrounders, and then and also your subordinates. subordinates. Now, it's easy when it comes to your subordinates. Mm. In leadership, I might not use subordinates, but for the sake of getting the yeah. swag of the yeah. three well, S's, <laughs> you know, but it's ideal that your teams, the people mm. you work with, you mm. manage that relationship very well. Because mm. I've come to realize that what makes you promoted is by virtue of the people that work with or under you. Okay. The truth is, when they are absent, your promotion is taken away. Hmm. So, for example, if you have someone who works in your team who uh, might have been sacked due to one reason or the, or yeah. the other, might not be pulling the weight, it's not yeah. performing, yeah. and they are get, uh, you know, gotten rid of, hmm. what happens at the end of the day is that you might have to take on some of their work yeah. until a replacement comes okay. off. Okay. So those that are beneath you are actually the people who makes you get promoted. Okay. And it's ideal that you manage these aspects well. Hmm. For your superiors, it's even prime. Many times we form cliques with our surrounders, Thinking that when my relationship that goes to the top, you know, well, doesn't really matter. The truth is it does. Because mm. these are the people who make decisions about your promotion, yep. your demotion, yep. your increase, you know, in which way or one way or an another. Mm. This is why it's ideal that you manage your relationship that goes up very effectively. Okay. Usually your surroundings are your covering. They are mm. the ones you share a lot with. They are the ones who hold your secret. They are the ones you, t you say all the jack, you know, and the swears <laughs> to. So they know all the, you know, the things you say in the yeah. background. And when you fight with such people, mm. you actually expose your own nakedness. Okay. So it's ideal that you manage those relationships okay. with all three levels all three within levels. the spec of your professional. Fantastic. Family. Thank you very much, uh, <laughs> Bernard. Osedia is a customer experience, HR and performance consultant and he's been helping us to understand how to manage our third party relationships the third parties in our relationships hi there we hope you enjoyed the show make sure to subscribe like comment and share with your friends this is breakfast daily on city tv join the breakfast daily team monday through fridays from 7 30 a.m to 10 join us for breakfast daily only on city tv